Welcome to Universal Stadium, home of Shonen FC, who play in the Wessex Premier Division. We came down here to chat to club secretary Greg Dickinson about the future of football or non-league football on the south coast. Shonen FC were originally founded under the name Vosper Thornycroft in 1960, but later changed their name to what it stands today in 2010. At the end of the 2013-14 season, Shonen went all the way to Wembley to lift the FA Vars trophy, the first time in the club's history. The club secretary has been working alongside Shonen Football Club for an impressive nine years and has seen many changes in this time. Quite a lot of changes really. Um, one is the, we're sat here in the changing room, so they've only just been revamped in the last couple of months, which is good to see, because uh, prior to that, th th this building's sort of pre-1960. The pitch is probably our best asset we've got at the ground here. Uh, we know we know the rest of our facilities are not that great, but we, um, we're, we're obviously looking um, to get, get the funding in to get a new stand built. Um, and look at the 3G pitch, which is probably the way forward. As non-league football becomes more popular, it is crucial that they receive funding. Greg Dickinson discusses this further. I think one of the, one of the problems that it are in our tier of the, the pyramid is, is the hurdles that we get put in front of us as a, gra as a grassroots club, we expect to find all the funding uh, to meet all the criteria that the um, that the FA suddenly put in every year. Jamie Gregory, a sports analyst for Sholin, talks about the importance of performance analysis for football at lower levels. Because the games aren't specifically televised, therefore they are, there is basically no footage of the game for the players to watch back. Therefore I'm like their only source of feedback. Um, so they can like watch like their performance back and see like, how in a sense like their positives and negatives and learn how they can improve. Um, especially, this especially helps young players because we have a player who's 17 so he can then develop his career to, to, make, to be able to make him a better player. Interest in non-league football is on the rise so it is crucial that both time and money are invested into smaller teams like Sholin to allow this to continue.